Are you ready to kill the heretics? Heretics. Ooh, that's very pretty. Man. They're always trying to make this new heresy look pretty. Back in my day, heresy always looked ugly and was lame and full of beans. But not really full of beans. They were like truck beans. Man. Ooh. No. Yeah, you see, I feel like if you were Chaos... Wouldn't you at least want, I mean, like, yeah, I guess this is cool and thematic and stuff, but, like, imagine you're, like, just trying to, like, do stuff, stuff, right? Like, oh. Like, if you're just trying to do stuff on your, like, day-to-day, -day, in your, like, day-to-day -day tasks and things, like, you don't... Oops. Oh, that's the wrong one. Well, you, you, you don't want, like, a big complicated cathedral for everything, right? And you don't want to, like, have to, have to, like, go through and get, like, all of the different, um... This feels like it would be... It feels like there would be something out here. Maybe not. Mm. I don't know. Whoop. Oh, hey, how you doing? It feels... It, yeah, it, it just... It just feels like, uh, you know, you would want, like, a nice place to work, and, you know, do, do you want to have to, like, go to a cathedral? Ooh. Every single time you, like, need to, like, file a report or something like that, it's just like, Gregory! I need those reports on how many pink horrors came through the portal this week. Like, because they're, like, trying to manage it. They're like, well, we want to control the planet, but we also don't want, like, to allow every single, like, Zinchian demon with, like, one extra tentacle to come through. You gotta, like, try and, you know, keep it real, man. Keep it fresh. Keep it k k k k k kosher. This is very pretty, though. Excuse me, I'm going to change towards you now. Thank you. There we go. Wait, why, why was he like stuck on the floor? Okay, where did that one go? Oh, it's coming. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Machine spirity. Delicious. Look at all the weird things. Just floating out there. Excuse me. It's your thing. In the warp. There's a reason for the sunshine and sky. And there's a reason why the Emperor has a pie. Must be the season. Oop. Oop. Wait, 
Wait, where am I? Oh no, this goes this way. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, da, 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 da. But you know, like, imagine if you could just go into the warp and fish. What if you had a harpoon and you were just like fishing for like demons and you just like harpooned a demon and he was like, oh hey, can I eat you? And then the demon was like, yes, you can eat me. It's part of my fetish because it's like a Slanesh demon and it turns out it's into boar. And then you're like, oh, okay. But then it like, it, it like assumes that you're gonna just like slide it down your throat, but instead you're just like, boop, and you're like a Yoshi and you eat it and it, and it completely kills it for it. You know what I mean? I am a Yoshi powered space marine. Hey, how you doing? Do you like working in this weird? Like, look. I mean, I guess actually, if nothing else, it would give you something pretty to look at. It's always described as maddening, but for some reason, my brain just likes to think, like, oh man, what if you like looked out into the warp and you just saw like a baby, and it was going, I'm a terrible baby. Oh, I'm sorry, I. I am, I am distracted by thoughts of baby. What if, what if there was an evil baby? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, like, what if there was an evil baby, brain? What do you mean by this? But, you know, something that could be funny is if, like, you, like, look out into the warp, and there's just, like, a mass of antlers, and it's just, like, rolling around, and you just go, oh, wow, that's a weird mass of antlers. And you're like, is that like a just a mutation? I'm like, no, it's just, just a mass of antlers. Because I'm thinking, like, if, if everything, if all your fantasies are in the warp, I'm just imagining, like, there's like a deviant art section to the warp as well. So there's just like a section that's just like full of like <laughs> Sonic OCs. Oh man, imagine you go into the warp, you're expecting to see all these terrible horrors, and then it's just like a bunch of Sonic OCs. I mean, honestly, I'd be pretty down. There's some neat uh, OCs out there. I'm sure, I'm sure like some of them would be, I'm sure a lot of them would be very edgy and say something like, it's nothing personal, kid. It's nothing personal. personal kid and I would be like I guess you're right it isn't anything personal it's just a it's just a sonic OC I'm sure for some people that's basically hell just having to look at <laughs> just having to look at people's OCs all day I mean I don't know I, I feel like I've seen enough stuff on the internet now that makes me think that like Slanesh's realm would be a lot weirder. Not, not even like more quote unquote depraved, right? Just weirder. There would be a lot of very strange things in Slanesh's realm, I think. I'm imagining, <laughs> I'm imagining it's like a bunch of the uh, ladies who like grew their fingernails like super long. Like, you know, like the like the longest fingernails in the world. It's just like a bunch of that. So they can't actually handle weapons and they're not really scary. They just like run at you and they're just like these long curls of fingernails. <laughs> just, just chasing after you. Oh, man. You know, I probably should have gotten that Mechanicus upgrade on like my heavy bolter. Because, I mean, this thing always seems like it... it Why are they like? I was gonna say like, why are they like not shooting? Well, okay then. <laughs> they all just kind of sat there and were like, "We're gonna get you." Okay, I guess we'll wait. We'll let you do your first strike and second strike and third strike and. Fifth strike and all strike. Okay, let's see. I gotta look around for more secrets, I guess. Secrets are important in a game like this. They can help you have a lot of technology. 
But no, I mean, like, I, I think I think the thing that uh, Warhammer always forgets is that humans are much weirder than I think the GW gives them credit for. Well, honestly, humans are much weirder than, like, almost any fictional universe gives them credit for, right? Because, like, you don't really want to give people credit for how weird they are. I mean, no one really wants to think, like, you go into the warp and then there's just a bunch of Sonic OCs, because that's probably totally a thing if you think about the way the warp works, right? But, um... Still. Oh, my lord. Well, like, okay, so if you're a Chaos God, you, you're just lucky because you just have to go, like, with, like, emotions and things like that. And then you get to just, like, be all twisted and weird and things. Okay, I, I, this is going to take me a minute, isn't it? But, like, eventually... I mean, I guess I'll just keep going forward because it doesn't really seem like there's... Or maybe I'm... Oh. That's kind of neat. Excuse me. Excuse me. I feel like Keeper of Secrets are kind of weird, too. Like... You know, for a lot for a lot of people, secrets are only as valuable as like you're going to make them, you know? So that kinda of makes me wonder, like, are there secrets that are just inherently valuable? Well, I mean like I, I'm sure if you're like a homophobe and you're like secretly gay, that that um secret is probably more important to you. But like if I is that something that, like, a Keeper of Secrets would have? I mean, I guess. But, like, why? I wouldn't care. Like, Im imagine you're, like, some Slaneshi adept and you finally get to, like, discover, like, oh, I, I get to finally talk to this great Keeper of Secrets and I'm gonna get a secret from him. Oh, Dave's gay. And it's like, who's Dave? <laughs> now you have to, like, go through all these rituals and things to figure out who Dave is. And then just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole thing and there's not really a reason to go through with it. I feel like that's actually what chaos would really be. Chaos, like if if chaos was an actual representation of like the human consciousness, it would be something like that, right? Where there's just like a bunch of <laughs> there's just a bunch of dudes who are like Dave's gay and then it's it, like they have that level of secret or like oh, I actually really like Mariah Carey or, or something something ridiculous. It's it's always something ridiculous. And like that's the thing. Like people are, are like weirdly insecure about stuff like that, right? So I'm just imagining like the weird things that Keeper Secrets would actually have. I mean there's there's also lots of secrets that are just probably by themselves meaningless even if you're not going into the abstract with it or like into the weird with that kind of stuff, right? Like even if you're just talking about like, okay. So, the United States government... Can I just follow to the bottom here? Okay. But the United States government, for instance, is like... Classifying more and more documents each day, apparently. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I did, I did not put in this game to play puzzles. So I, I might just be poop out of luck here. I mean, I'm sure I'll, I will eventually get to a point where I kind of figure out what I'm doing. Maybe. Where am I trying to go? Oh, hey. Just hanging out up there. Being neat. Yeah, sorry, you're still a demon. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess for for a lot of these things, it's like when you when you start to think about them and the actual like like what's actually going on with a lot of them, it's like oh, 
This is gonna be weird. Like I, I'm pretty sure any chaos cult you joined would just be like really weird, right? Like there, there's like no chance that you join a chaos cult and it's not just like probably just a bunch of weirdos. Or at least that's always a thought I have of like, if you really were gonna join a chaos cult, it wouldn't be like, oh, we're we're actually gonna bring down a bunch of stuff. Like if if, if a chaos cult operates like regular cults and things like that. It probably has a bunch of stupid bureaucracy, unless it's like a corn cult in that case. Actually, how does a corn cult even start to like grow? I guess a corn cult can start to grow in a world in the sense that, am I trying to go up or down? What am I trying to do here? I don't know. I mean, it's like an M.C. Escher painting. With uh, I feel like eventually something will probably happen, but since I don't actually know, I don't even know if I'm trying to go up or down or where I'm trying to go exactly. It's just like kind of just exploring at this point. Okay, so that just goes there. I. Feel like I'm trying to go up. That maybe. Oh. I've totally been over here. I. Dear Lord. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, anyway, but yeah, no, I mean, I feel like chaos is just like not not it's not worth your time, man. But could you purify chaos if you just like sat there for, with enough people going love, 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 like if you had an actual like hippie revolution across the entire Imperium, would it would it like reverse some of the corruption? I don't know, that'd be cool. Uh, I guess the implication of like almost all Warhammer lore is that humans are naturally like almost like a toxic element of life in some sense. If you think about it, because the whole idea is that the reason the warp is because it used to be they're just the realm of souls. The, the reason it's as screwed up as it is. Okay, so there's like one... Okay, so there's one more. So if I do, I need to like try to go fast and maybe get up there. I'm not 100% sure what I need to do in this particular instance. Nope. Oh, I guess. That works. Okay, so if I go here. Yeah, see, but that doesn't take this doesn't take me anywhere. Okay. What what am I supposed to do in this particular area? But yeah, no, I guess like all of Warhammer is basically implying that um humanity is just like inherently a negative element because if you like think about it in most cases what because if you think about it in most cases what it's saying is that like humans will naturally corrupt things and or like it or it's implying that because he, like once humans become more psychic the warp just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and humans are naturally kind of seemingly susceptible to like uh the privations of the warp and things like that right
So what happens if, actually, what happens if I go, like, reverse here? Does it just take me back to where... Yeah, I guess it does. Okay, I need to figure out how the heck... I don't even really know where I'm going. This is... Maybe I'm dumb. Well, because... And this one is... No, that's not the one that throws me out there, I guess. Okay, so... Well, you can't just keep going straight, because that doesn't lead you anywhere. That is eventually... Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I feel very dumb. I looked at... I, I was like, what did I miss here? And it turns out I did miss something very obvious i even looked at it multiple times but you know it's fine oh look i have a book though hmm i wonder what this book is i wonder i hope it's not the codex of Stardust, because that would, that would just be like shit reading my guy i'll show you but yeah um so it does seem like, uh, Games Workshop seems to think that humans are just, like, naturally prone to privation and being evil and joining cults and things, at least to a certain extent. Ooh. There we go. Because, I mean, like, everywhere humans go, they ruin things. That seems to be, like, the default theme of humans in, like, Warhammer 40k. And in, um... Fantasy, too. Well, not as much in fantasy, but, like... it It's a prevalent theme. I mean, of course... 40k is originally like this uh, sort of dystopian satire and all that stuff. Oh, I frequently hear it called a satire. I'm not 100% sure what it's satirizing other than like humanity and society in broad strokes. Okay. Make sure I got everything that I might need. Lots. <laughs> I can't go through that. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess there is that whole element to it. I guess you could argue it's satirizing religion. I mean, you could say that pretty much any institution, once it gets powerful enough, becomes mostly concerned with um, accumulating and maintaining... Oh. Its own power, I suppose. Oh, this is the boss fight. Excuse me, I'm going to shoot a heretic now. Wait, where is the... Where's the sorcerer, man?
I mean, it also seems like you can do cool stuff with the warp. I mean, like, the Thousand Suns guys, they had, like, their own little, like, warp pets, basically, who seemed like they were actually genuinely helpful. So I guess you could do that. I mean, it seems like not all warp entities are, like, malevolent by their very nature. Although, well, I mean, yeah, because, like, in... Is it... Like, the Black Legion books, like, that one... Yeah, I think it's... it's what's his name? Iskandor Kaon? Oops. Gosh dang it. I am the utmost of a silly goose. Wait, I, I should totally be able to grab onto... Oh, excuse me. I should totally be able to grab onto that edge there and... Okay, whatever. I guess if we won't grab onto that edge, then we'll go... We'll keep going around. Or no, we'll go to that thing. Yeah, so I guess like you can have like cool warp entity pets. I would totally have a cool warp entity pet. I mean, I guess I am kind of a warp entity if you think about it. Wait, where does this go? I'm guessing that's the sorcerer of Zinch there. He is taking very little damage. Do I need to be doing something special to this guy? Maybe. Hmm. Hello? Yeah, because he was taking, like, very little damage from my attacks. Okay, there, I was doing good damage to him there. Okay. Okay, so we need- we just needed to have, like, the right equipment and things to damage him, I think. And I think we need to mostly focus on damaging him, not the, uh... other guys. Okay. Oh, there he is.
he moved. Butt punch! Where did he move? Oh, he moved up here. Okay, cool. He did teleport away, and now that he teleported away, let's get some extra ammunition and thing. And then there's that thing there in the middle. Where the hell did he teleport to? Take that nerd. Oh, kill them. Cool. percent don't you tell me oh well okay cool it took me a minute there with that maze and that i felt really like a really silly billy once i realized what the solution was but either way it was fun so i hope you all had a great time and remember the emperor protects and remember that uh makali protects and remember to give the emperor a hug and remember to summon me as a warp cat so that i can help you destroy demons thanks Bye.